So when you're looking at inflation, the first thing I look at is how do I protect my savings, right? So I want to first increase the income. That's actually the first thing. Second thing is how do I, how do I protect my savings? I'm putting money aside. If, if that dollar purchasing power is going down by as high as 18, 20%, I want to make sure what I'm saving, I'm not losing that value every year, right? So my favorite inflation proof assets. Okay. So what is inflation really? Bottom line, it's a loss of money. I'm losing 18%. Now it's not literal. Like it's not like I bought Bitcoin and it dropped 18%. Some people did do that and it was more than 18, right? It's just like, I can't buy as much. I had a hundred dollars and now that hundred dollars only buys, you know, $80 worth of stuff. And so I lose that $20 of purchasing power by not having that money going to work for me. Right. So the first thing that I like to invest in to, to increase my purchasing power or maintain it is actually myself. Okay. I do when inflation is rampant, I do a lot of books and courses and things that are going to improve me and my ability to generate more income. Why? Because there's more currency out there, which means there's more for the taking. And those that have the skills are going to be able to get it. And also knowledge never goes down in value. Right, it's totally subjective. So if I learn something, I can get value out of that every day for the rest of my life and that's protected. The second place that I like to use to protect my money during inflation is high early cash value dividend paying whole life insurance. Right now, you're looking at this and you might be like, well, why? Right, the growth rate might only be three to 5%. Well, that's not the point. If it's already losing 18, I don't wanna lose more, right? So I'm gonna put it in, in literally the safest place I can put it, which is life insurance, guaranteed, guaranteed against loss, guaranteed growth, can't be taxed, creditors can't get at it, lawsuits can't get at it. It's the safest place I can put my money, right? If I was gonna park my car to keep it safe at night, I would put it in a garage that I knew wasn't gonna collapse, it wasn't gonna fall, it wasn't gonna burn down, right? It wasn't gonna get broken into, okay? And so that's the thing I'm looking at first. The second place that I like to go is I like to put it in gold and silver. Primarily gold, I like gold better, but you could do both, right? These are metals. So when you buy a metal, you're buying like a one ounce bar of gold. It does not matter what the dollar price of that gold is. The value is not subjected by that. Right, like they're gonna, that gold will always have its value. The one ounce of gold has been one ounce of gold since the beginning of time. It will be today, it will be in a thousand years, regardless of what currency it's priced in. You see, so I wanna own real things. The other one I like is real estate, as long as it's not overpriced. Okay, I'm not gonna go buy a $600,000 home that two years ago was worth 250, right? So I'm gonna buy a reasonably priced real estate, something that's under median home value. That might be somewhere I put my money. So those are my big three. Now, the truth is, that I don't beat inflation through these assets. I beat inflation through increasing my income greater than the rate of inflation and increasing my savings rate greater than the rate of inflation. Do I save into these assets? Sure I do, right? But those are just gonna maintain and make sure I don't lose. It's my job to actually paddle faster than the inflation current is happening. If you're wondering what does Wealth Dynamics do, how can we actually help you? Number one, if you haven't gotten a copy of my book, Blueprint to Financial Freedom, grab one now. You can get that down in the uh, comments in the video. You can get the link for that. Number two, we do a free course on Fridays on personal finance. Hey, you can also get the link for the description there too. And then finally, if you have a desire to start getting help walking through these different phases toward financial freedom, book a call with my team. Go to our website, set up a call. And we're able to help out and answer questions. That's how we can help you. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you turn notifications on and I will talk to you guys on the next video.